Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating a clear card. Yes, you heard me right. We will be creating an A2 size card, but instead of having a solid card base, I will be using a clear acetate card base. Now I will be using the Simon Says Stamp A2 size clear acetate cards. These are high quality pre-folded acetate cards, perfect for creating unique transparent card bases. Now these measure A2 size, which is, now here I have an example of a standard A2 size card base, uh, which measures five and a half by four one quarter. And you could use it as a side folding or a top folding card. Well, I must say, initially I was a little skeptical of how I would use this card base, but I have created so many cards using this card base. And I will tell you, this is such a fun technique to use. Now before we get started, let's take a look at the other products that I'll be using to create this card. I have two products here. One is the crimped floral embossing folder and cutting dies and the other is this beautiful sentiment stamp set by Simon Says Stamp. Both of these are part of the stamp timber release. The crimped floral embossing folder and cutting dies, they create beautiful floral intricate uh, backgrounds and this cutting dies you could cut out those pieces or floral images and place them back into the embossing folder to get beautiful embossed floral uh, arrangement for your card front, which is exactly what we will be doing in our card today. Now, next we have the lovely uh, stamp set. The bowl lovely is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I've used this uh, stamp set in one of my previous videos. I will leave a link uh, to that uh, down below. Now here you could mix and match all of these sentiments, add a big lovely in the center and maybe say thank you for a lovely day or you're such a lovely person. There are so many mix and matches that you could do with this beautiful stamp set. I love the font on those sentiments there. There's also a coordinating lovely die that is available which has the word and the shadow die. Well, now to create our card, I will require four panels of cardstock. Now, since this is an A2 size card panel and I wanted to show more of that uh, clear acetate look, so I cut my panel slightly smaller than the A2 size card base. Now, here I have a navy blue panel and I have three separate panels of white cardstock all cut out in the same uh, size. This navy blue panel will be the front of our card and this is where the stamping and all of the floral arrangement will happen. And then I'll show you how I've arranged all of the other white panels. Now to get started, I will be stamping our sentiment, have a lovely day onto this piece of navy blue cardstock using the Simon's stamp gold embossing powder. I'll be creating a top folding note card here because that's how the word lovely fits best into this space. Now I will first stamp the word lovely uh, using the Simon Says Stamp gold embossing powder. I like to run my anti-static powder tool over this uh, before I can get stamping. I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp clear embossing ink to stamp my sentiment. Now I love the shine of the gold embossing powder on any dark color uh, cardstock. So if I'm using navy blue or blacks, I like to use gold instead of the usual white. And since this is a floral card, I thought that gold would add much of an elegance to our card today. So here you see me uh, heat uh, setting that embossing powder. And once I'm satisfied with that, I will then go ahead and line the other two little tiny little sentiments, uh, which says what a, uh, and then uh, on the bottom, I will uh, stamp day. Now I will do both of these together and here I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Grid Transparency Sheet just to align my sentiments. Now if you are not very particular about spacing, you could do all of these sentiments together and stamp and heat emboss them together. But I wanted to make sure that they are aligned properly and uh, there is no gap between the sentiments. That is why I stamped the word lovely first. And then I stamped the words have a and day separately later on. Now that we've stamped our sentiments, let's work on the floral arrangement, which is the main focal point of our card. Now off camera, I went ahead and die cut these flowers 
I have two sets of each flower here using some white cardstock. You could use colored cardstock if you would like. But I like to use white cardstock on my uh, die card pieces so that I can ink blend on them and get a perfect amount of color or maybe ink blending like I want. And uh, now you'll see me placing these die cut pieces back into the embossing folder. Now, if you wish to have just plain floral die cut pieces, you could add this to your background. But I wanted some of that embossed uh, floral images and all those etched line details on my florals. So that is why I will carefully place these back into the embossing folder. Now, well, this is like uh, placing puzzle pieces together. You just need to make sure that all of these images are lined perfectly. And then you could run it through your die cutting machine and you would get beautiful results. I like to do the embossing on these die cut pieces before any kind of ink blending. I love to see the beautiful etched details before I ink blend because sometimes what happens is once you ink blend and after that if you go on to emboss there are chances that the paper might crack and the white cardstock shows up. So the, that's the reason I like to first emboss and then uh, ink blend on these die cut pieces. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Mat, which is perfect companion for your card making process if you love ink blending. And I absolutely love ink blending. Now, this is a double-sided tacky surface to hold paper in place while stamping or ink blending. And this would perfectly fit into your Misty stamping tools. Now, I like to use this to hold all of these die cut pieces together. I want uh, to ink blend my flor floral images in yellows and oranges. So here first I have the shade Sherbet which is from the positively saturated ink line and I ink blended the centers of these flowers using the orange ink and then I use citrine to ink blend on the edges of these flowers. Now make note that I am not adding a lot of orange to the center of these flowers and I want to keep it a little simple and subtle and I thought the yellow would match perfectly with the navy blue background that we have for our card front. Now, once I was uh, satisfied with all of that ink blending, I will place these little floral die cuts into my splatter box and I will be adding some shimmer mist over it. Well, I love shimmer sp uh, my shimmer spray and this absolutely adds a lot of shine and sparkle to our floral arrangement. Now I will let those die cut pieces dry and we will uh, assemble our card. Now first I will place this panel, the sentiment panel or maybe I could call it the card front. I will uh, use some double sided tape to adhere all of these panels. I have one navy blue and three white color panels. I will use double sided tape to adhere this. Now whenever I am working with acetate, I like to use my double sided tape because that I feel gives a lot more hold and grip to my cardstock. Now you could also use liquid glue but I generally use liquid glue when I am using some foam tape because liquid glue gives a lot of wiggle room and that is not something that I would like to do when I am working with acetate. Now to make sure that my uh, card front is absolutely aligned, I'm again using the grid transparency sheet and making sure that there is equal spacing on all four sides. Now since this is the first panel that I'm adhering to this uh, acetate sheet, I want to make sure that this is perfectly aligned from all four sides. There's equal gaps and distances uh, between the all of the edges. Now. The rest of the card is really simple. All you have to do is line up all the pieces one behind the other using again double sided tape. Now I like to add a panel of white cardstock at the back of this navy blue cardstock just because uh, I don't want all of that tape adhesive to show. That is the reason I have four different card panels that I'm using here. If you are okay with the adhesive showing up it's fine, you could just use the front panel and something on the back to write your message. Now I love the fact that even though we are creating a transparent card, we still have a lot of space to write our personal message to the recipient. 
Now for the fun part, we will be creating our floral arrangement. I'm not sure if this shows up on camera, but these flowers have a beautiful shine on them because of the silver shimmer spray that we added. Now, along with the floral images, I also die cut out these leaves using the Pawn Flowers die set by Altenew. Uh, now, these uh, are cut out using green cardstock by the papers from the Your Paper Insider subscription box, which is something I absolutely love. Uh, if you are looking for some really beautiful handmade papers, you should definitely check out the Your Paper Insider subscription box. Again, I will leave a link to that in the description box below. Now, to arrange my floral uh, pieces, uh, I decided to make sure that these uh, match diagonally and they're diagonally opposite to each other. Some of these floral images I adhered using liquid glue, while for others I have my dimensional foam tape. Now, be it liquid glue or foam tape, I made sure that none of that was visible uh, from the acetate part of the card. All of the glue and everything that is being adhered here is on that navy blue card base. Now that's the reason why I have all of those four panels stuck uh, one below the other just show, uh, so that the glue does not show up. I also wanted to add some interest to the inside of our card. So here I have one of that yellow flower and one leaf towards the edge of this card panel and we still have enough room to write our personal message. I'll be doing the same onto a white uh, envelope and that's how I like to match the cards not just on the outside but also make it beautiful on the inside and have matching envelopes for my cards. Now this is one project which I'm absolutely in love with and you will see that this acetate here is really sturdy and can be placed on display as well. Now to add some embellishment, I have this orange pearl sequin mix by Cat Scrappiness and that will be the center of our flower. Now I love how this card turned out and how easy and quick it was to create like a usual A2 size card but with a twist. I love that this panel looks as if it is floating and this card would be perfect for your display piece. Now here if you see on the back of the card none of that glue is showing and all of that floral arrangement even though it's white in color it still looks absolutely perfect. Well that's it for our video today. I hope you had fun watching the video and got inspired. I personally had a lot of fun creating this project and I definitely would be creating more of these clear acetate cards. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay safe.